This is Kulali and her owner Garth. Garth was a successful engineer who started building Kulali as his final life project. Unfortunately, Garth never got to see her finished. I've been lucky enough to take the challenge on of completing her build and one day to sail her around the world. Similar to Garth, I'm a passionate engineer who loves to know how things work and how to build things. Join me on this journey to bring Garth's dream to life. This is Sailing Kulali. Today, the job is going to be to join this propeller shaft tube to the propeller hub that we've machined in the past. So the job entails creating an internal thread inside here to join onto the thread of this tube here. And this will be the first time I've ever done threading on a lathe, uh, which seems a bit silly if you haven't done any practice with external threading, but we don't have much time. We need to get the boat on the water. So I've already gone ahead and set up a bore in here. I just machined that out more than 10 mil deep. And uh, I've got one of these right hand or left hand um, internal borers, which means that you can actually pull the, the thread out while you're, instead of going in, you can go out because you set the lathe up in reverse. So I've done a scratch pass in there and checked and it looks like it's the right uh, dimensions. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the thread deeper um, than it needs to be and then machine the bore out a bit more. So I just accidentally turned the lathe on in left instead of right and that sent this into the back of that <laughs> and so that's now not in line. You can see, I don't know if you can see that but it's now wobbling which is just because that's pushed so hard on that it's twisted that a bit. So that was just being lazy and stupid. I was doing this just by hand, moving it back and forth by hand. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out, just double check this thread here for the measurements to match the shaft. Um, then I'm going to realign this. I'm going to bore that out to the proper uh, uh, minor dimension. I just got to check the minor dimension for that size thread um, and then we'll redo the threading if possible. Alright so this is the engineer's black book and this is for metric course M33 but this is definitely not a 3.5 pitch it's a 2.5 pitch but I'm just going to have a look at the major and minor dimensions but what we're looking for so the tapping drill size is 29.5. Looking at this, this is what we have. We have a pipe with an OD of 33 and an ID, as in once you cut into the thread, of 31. And so in the perfect world, the thing that we're going to machine is 31 uh, ID and 33 OD. But what uh, if you did that, it would be too tight. So you want to give it a bit of clearance, so you'd make this 31 point something um, and this 33 dimension uh, is probably okay, uh, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, who knows. But so, <laughs> what I found is this piece here is actually, it's perfectly 1 mil, but this is machined a little bit deeper than 1 mil, you can see that. So. What that means is, if I, if I made it close to these dimensions, this would be too tight again. So, so what I've worked out is, if I machine this a little bit bigger than what it's meant to be, then it would look something like this, where this would dig out 
just the tips and this is exaggerated of course like this is already one mil which is what a thread's meant to be but the part there has a deeper cut for whatever reason so i'm gonna machine i'm gonna bore the hole out a little bit bigger than the the perfect world 31 so say 31.25 or 31.5 machine out one mil either side which would bring that up to 32.5 and then uh, it would be good so this is a dial indicator what it does is it takes a fixed point and uh, has a measurement tool here and as we spin this it's telling us that this part is definitely out of line now because it's been knocked by the lathe. It's called crashing a lathe. That's the first time I've done it. All right, so if you look at this now, the needle is moving only within uh, like a little bit. <laughs> so, um, so that means that this is pretty uh, lined up. And so that means now I can go back to uh, boring this out slightly. Now that the tube is all aligned, the propeller hub is all aligned, we're going to bore it out to the 31.25 which we agreed on. So that's going to be slightly bigger than the internal dimension of inside the threads. So once we bore that to 31.25, then we'll do the thread cutting and then hopefully that will fit on. So to set up the boring bar, you have to have it just below the center point of the lathe. So I'm gonna measure the distance between the tip there and there and then put in shims and lift that back up. So you can see now with the shims, the tip of the boring bar is just below the tip of that end stock. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in till it touches and set this to zero, which is already on zero. So when I go into bore, I know that when I stop at zero, that's reached the bottom of that part. Cool. And I just did the same thing for this direction and set that to zero. So now when I measure this part, I know how much I need to go out to reach my distance. All right, so that's currently 30 mil in diameter. So I need to open that up to 31.25. So I believe it's only half. Oh, no, no, I think this is actually the correct. So we need to move this out So that's been bored out now. We'll just double check the dimension. So that's exactly 31.2. So now we can proceed to thread the inside of that out. All right, so I have the tool at the bottom of the part. That's pretty much two spots from zero. It can go a little bit further, but I'm not going to. The half nut is engaged and it's just past the one mark here. The lathe is on 60 RPM, the lowest setting, and this is engaged that way, and it's in reverse, which is the way that we wanna go. So now we can turn it on, and this should go that way. And if it doesn't, I'll cry. So there you go, that went that way. So. I'm too scared to undo any of this. So what I've been doing, or what I think I'm doing, I'm gonna put the lathe into what is like neutral and slowly back this thing in to two stops from zero, which is there, right? I'm gonna engage the lathe, so it's engaged. And then I'm gonna move the headstock that way uh, just a touch that much and then it should go that way again and it should cut this time I 
that's it. So we'll repeat that process, neutral, back it in until that gets to two to zero. Just about there. Back onto gear, push that that way. All right, this is the first dry fit of the part into the hole. And, ooh, it was thinking about it. Ooh. This is attempt two. I've uh, made it even deeper of a thread cut, so let's see if it fits. So that's pretty exciting. It definitely fit. So now I'm just gonna clean up. It's, it's got a bit of chatter in there, so it's not that smooth. So I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit more and then see if it's, um, if it's gonna go in even nicer. I think it would definitely go in, but I just don't wanna force it just yet. So a bit more of a clean up. All right, so I've just cleaned up that thread in there. Again, a little bit more I took off. Um, and just doing like finishing passes, so not as deep a cut, no chatter. There's still some chatter marks in there. I think, I'd, like if I was to do this again, I wouldn't put the stick out too much of the bar, and have it a bit closer to the stop. Um, but yeah, that's if I ever do this again. Right, so let's try this now. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna over tighten it because I don't want to put too much force on it, but uh, that's not bad. I'm pretty happy about that. Nice. That's it, um, so mission successful. We managed to thread an internal thread inside that propeller hub. If I was to do it again, I'd probably practice on something, maybe like a bit of plastic first, uh, because there was a lot of risk in that, like a little bit too much risk. I ended up crashing the lathe because I was initially just moving it by hand and I wanted to quickly pull it away uh, and the lathe was in forward instead of reverse. So just silly things like that. So that really woke me up, and then I ended up uh, really thinking about everything that I was doing. I think uh, in the future, if I had a better cutting tool um, that didn't chatter as much, it would be easier. So yeah, thanks to all the YouTube channels that um, I watched. The next step now is to bore out a hole all the way through for the shaft that's gonna go through this whole thing to the propeller and the engine. And then that means this part of the project is nearly 
coming to a close.